Chapter 1 In the heart of a small coastal town stood an ancient bookstore, its walls filled with dusty volumes and whispered secrets of ages past. It was here that Emma, a young historian with a passion for uncovering forgotten stories, often found herself lost among the shelves. The store was a haven of tranquility, and the owner, Mr. Whitmore, a kindly old man with a twinkle in his eye, always welcomed her with a warm smile. One rainy afternoon, as Emma browsed through the history section, a particular book caught her eye. Its cover was worn, and the title, Whispers of Eternity, was barely legible. Intrigued, she opened the book and discovered that it was a collection of letters and journal entries from the 19th century, chronicling a love story that transcended time. Chapter 2 As Emma read the letters, she was transported to a different era. The story began with Elizabeth, a young woman living in 1850s England. Elizabeth was intelligent, headstrong, and had a love for literature that rivaled Emma's own. One fateful day, while visiting a local market, Elizabeth encountered Alexander, a charming artist with a passion for capturing the beauty of the world on canvas. Their eyes met across the bustling market, and it was as if time stood still. Alexander was immediately captivated by Elizabeth's grace and the spark of curiosity in her eyes. He approached her, and they struck up a conversation that flowed effortlessly, as if they had known each other forever. Chapter 3 Elizabeth and Alexander's connection grew deeper with each passing day. They spent hours walking through the countryside, discussing literature, art, and their dreams for the future. Alexander painted beautiful portraits of Elizabeth, each one capturing not just her likeness, but the essence of her spirit. As Emma read their letters, she felt a profound connection to their story. Elizabeth's words resonated with her, and she found herself eagerly turning the pages, wanting to know more about their journey. Chapter 4 One of Elizabeth's letters described a hidden garden that she and Alexander had discovered during one of their walks. It was a place of unparalleled beauty, with vibrant flowers, a serene pond, and an ancient oak tree that seemed to watch over them. The garden became their sanctuary, a place where they could escape from the world and be together. Emma decided to take a break from reading and visit the botanical garden in her town, hoping to capture some of the magic she had read about. As she wandered through the garden, she couldn't help but feel a sense of deja vu, as if she were walking in Elizabeth and Alexander's footsteps. Chapter 5 Back in the bookstore, Mr. Whitmore noticed Emma's fascination with the book. He revealed that Whispers of Eternity had been in his family for generations and that many who read it felt a deep connection to its story. He believed that the book had a way of finding those who needed it most, those who were searching for something more in their lives. Emma was intrigued by Mr. Whitmore's words and began to wonder if her own story might be intertwined with Elizabeth and Alexander's in some mysterious way. She continued reading, eager to uncover the secrets within the pages. Chapter 6 As Emma delved deeper into the book, she discovered that Elizabeth and Alexander's love was not without its challenges. Elizabeth's family concerned about her growing attachment to Alexander, whom they considered unsuitable due to his modest means, arranged for her to marry a wealthy suitor. Heartbroken, Elizabeth was forced to choose between duty and love. The letters grew more poignant, filled with longing and sorrow. Emma felt tears welling up as she read about their final meeting in the hidden garden, where they promised to love each other for eternity even if they could not be together in this life. Chapter 7 Emma couldn't bear the thought of their love story ending in tragedy. 
She returned to the bookstore, determined to find out if there was more to their story. Mr. Whitmore suggested she look for a painting that Alexander had created of the hidden garden, which was said to hold a secret message. With renewed hope, Emma set out to find the painting. Her search led her to a small art gallery in a neighboring town. There, among the collection of 19th century art, she found it a breathtaking painting of the hidden garden. With Elizabeth standing under the ancient oak tree, her eyes filled with love and longing. Chapter 8 As Emma examined the painting, she noticed faint writing in the corner. It was a message from Alexander to Elizabeth, expressing his eternal love and hope that they would be reunited in another life. Emma felt a shiver run down her spine as she realized that their love story had transcended time and space. Inspired by their story, Emma decided to write a book about Elizabeth and Alexander, hoping to share their timeless love with the world. She poured her heart into the project, feeling as if she were channeling their emotions and experiences. Chapter 9 One day, while working at a local cafe, Emma met a man named Lucas, who was also a writer. They struck up a conversation and Emma was struck by the uncanny similarities between Lucas and Alexander. His passion for art and literature, his gentle demeanor, and even his physical appearance reminded her of the man she had read about. As they spent more time together, Emma couldn't help but feel that Lucas was somehow connected to Alexander. Their bond grew stronger, and Emma began to wonder if she had found her own timeless love. Chapter 10. Lucas, intrigued by Emma's research and her dedication to Elizabeth and Alexander's story, offered to help her. Together, they uncovered more letters and journal entries, piecing together the lovers' final days. They discovered that Elizabeth had never married her suitor, choosing instead to dedicate her life to preserving Alexander's art and their memories. Emma and Lucas's connection deepened as they worked side by side, their shared passion for the past bringing them closer. They found comfort in each other's presence, and Emma began to believe that fate had brought them together. Chapter 11 One evening, as they were going through Elizabeth's final letters, they found a hidden compartment in the back of the book. Inside was a locket containing a miniature portrait of Alexander and a lock of Elizabeth's hair. Along with it was a letter, written by Elizabeth in her final days, expressing her unwavering love for Alexander and her belief that they would be reunited in another life. Emma was overwhelmed by the discovery, feeling as if she had been entrusted with their legacy. Lucas, moved by the depth of their love, confessed his feelings for Emma, revealing that he had felt a connection to her from the moment they met. Chapter 12 Emma and Lucas's love blossomed, mirroring the passion and intensity of Elizabeth and Alexander's story. They realized that their connection was more than just coincidence. It was destiny. Together, they finished the book, Whispers of Eternity dedicating it to the timeless love that had brought them together. Chapter 13 The book launch was a resounding success. Readers were captivated by the story of Elizabeth and Alexander, and many felt inspired by the idea of a love that transcends time. Emma and Lucas's bond grew even stronger as they shared their story with the world, their love a testament to the enduring power of fate. Chapter 14. To celebrate their success and honor Elizabeth and Alexander, Emma and Lucas decided to visit England in search for the hidden garden. Guided by the descriptions in the letters and the painting, they eventually found it, a place of serene beauty, untouched by time. Standing under the ancient oak tree, Emma and Lucas felt the presence of Elizabeth and Alexander their spirits intertwined with the magic of the garden. They made their own promise to love each other for eternity, 
sealing it with a kiss. Chapter 15 Emma and Lucas returned to their coastal town, where they continued to write and create together. Their love story, inspired by the past, became a beacon of hope for others. They opened a small gallery and bookstore dedicated to preserving the stories of timeless love. As the years passed, Emma and Lucas's bond only grew stronger. They often visited the ancient bookstore, where their journey had begun, and shared their story with those who needed a reminder that love is the most powerful force in the universe. Their love, like Elizabeth and Alexander's, became a legend, a beautiful tale of serendipity and destiny, proving that true love is indeed timeless and eternal.